All right, so today I'm gonna to be testing out some Vans slip-on skate shoes. So believe it or not, I've never actually skated Vans slip-ons before. I owned a pair when I was about 13, but I didn't skate them and I remember not really liking them. They made me feel like I had clown feet. They were, they were huge, well, they felt huge anyway. But the other day I found these on sale. They are the Vans Shake Jun. I think you say Shake Jun, say Shake Jun. So I bought them because they're on sale and I figured so many people skate them, so they must be pretty good. I've got a bit of a bad relationship with slip-on or slim skate shoes anyway. And this year I kind of went from skating slim skate shoes to chunkier skate shoes, like the ones I'm currently skating now, which are the S Avants. These are currently my favorite skate shoe I've ever skated. I have three pairs of them now, all different colorways. Yeah, they're, they're easily my favorite skate shoe I've ever skated. So yeah, so I've got these, I'm gonna test them out. Being completely honest, I have very low expectations for them. The thought of skating a shoe now with not much protection on the top makes me cringe a little bit, especially when you get like a bolt to the top of your foot or you're landing primo on top of your foot and it absolutely hurts. But one of the first things I noticed with these Vans was the sole to the shoe is a monster. So with a lot of skate shoe soles, they have like a little pack here to kind of protect your heel, like heel bruise. But I didn't expect these to be so big and so chunky at the back. That's a good sign for them being good skate shoes. But yeah, it's just something I kind of, an observation I made when I got them. But the actual sole to the shoe is also very thick too. Vans is brand, a brand which like has always baffled me a little bit because I've never had a good experience with them before and they are so popular. So I've always thought like, is it just me? I don't know, like are my feet weird or something? I don't know. So I'm gonna give these a little test now. Also, I forgot to mention, like normally I wouldn't go for anything kind of gold like this, but these did feel quite appealing when I saw them. It's taking me back to when I was like 16 years old because when I was 16, I started getting into like Supra skate shoes. Like I really liked the branding at the time. I remember I bought these Supras that were like all gold, all gold all over. And I used to go into school wearing them sometimes thinking I was like, I don't know, it was gross. Just really, really thought I was sick wearing these like full gold shoes. So I'm kind of like thrown back to that right now with the, uh, the gold on the outside. These are a bit less obnoxious than the Supras that I had. But uh, yeah, they're still a little bit that way. So initially putting them on, I can already feel this kind of really uncomfortable thing here. Oh my God, I can't stand up. Like here, something's like really digging into my foot. Hopefully that'll kind of like wear away with use and want to like kind of soften up, I guess. So initially now they actually feel really good. Very surprised. Flip tricks from the get go felt quite easy, natural. They felt like the shoes are already broken in. Actually very surprised. Let's try the grind pad. Last night I actually learned tail slide, big spin out. Try and get it first go in these shoes. So that's about 45 minutes of skating now. You can see there's a bit of wear here. Definitely a bit of tear going on. The shoe feels really good from the get-go, to be honest. It feels like it has already been broken in. It feels like I've just transferred to like an old shoe that I've already skated before. I think that's pretty good considering I've gone from skating chunky shoes with a lot of padding to these which are very thin, so completely different shoe. What are you doing? Getting 
job. Ow! Stop it, ugly. What do you think? What's a... Think, I'm give, trying to do a quiz. Give me your opinion. What do you think of my new shoes? I think they remind me of Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore? I don't like them. Why, why Jersey like, Shore? You know, like, um, like wet, gypsy weddings. Why? Because the golden, they're just horrible. Golden black's nice. That's the branding yeah, for plant skate gold. but not like metallic gold. You don't know anything. <laughs> See, look at these. Who who even wears the checkered ones in 2021, mate? The, they've got a rip in them. Oh, well, that's skating that she's been doing. Look at that. That's when she does murder flips. Paid full price. De look at that. How have you done? The hey. <laughs> what do you reckon to my shoes? Pretty cool. Nice goldies. Pretty flat, eh? Fucking hell. So Which when you're going, you're not giving me a full review <laughs> on my shoes yet. Yeah, shoes, pretty cool aesthetic look. I think that they're too flat. Too flat? It must be so uncomfortable to wear, but yeah. Lovely. Pretty cool. Um, you're so aggressive with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what well, I'm gonna do It's like Jump Skyrim. Me. FPS, that's right, I got it. FPS. <laughs> Skyrim. <laughs> Welcome to Lewis's YouTube. You should subscribe to his. But more moreover, subscribe to Plant Skate. <laughs> Alright, so this is the day after the day after yesterday. The day after yesterday's skate. So this is day two skating in the vans. And I've left it for today because I wanted to skate the stair set. Try the vans out on the stair set. You guys have spent all of today working, getting it finished. And it's not finished. He, he was gonna finish it today. He promised me he was gonna finish it today. And look at this. No bloody coping. So we're gonna have to skate a stair set today that's got the crap layer of wood on top and no proper coping on the quarter pipe. So we're gonna have to just... Also, if you watched my channel before, you'll know that I'm not great at stair sets. Stair sets are not what I like to skate. So today might be a little bit of a challenge. So who's going first, Gerald? You or me? That was nice. I could feel the slap of the feet on their floor. And I think because of these... What, oh yeah, what, is the, what are these called, by the way? The... Uh, soles. No, that's the sole, isn't it? What's this called, though? Insole. insole. Yeah, so the insoles are massive, as I've already said, and I could feel the slap on the floor down my feet, which... You should take this, take them out and try again, see if you've got the differences. No, that'd be that's fucking horrible. Alright, I've got kickflips down. I'm gonna kickflip the stair set first try. That doesn't count, that That would have been good, wouldn't it? Actually, that'd be quite cool. I mean, that was quite fun, you know, like going faking and coming yeah. down. That hurt my feet, though. Even even doing that kickflip then, I felt my feet slap. You don't get that Did on I chunky go. shoes, boys. Oh, look what I got. Chunky. So far. The shoes, so far, hmm, I had low expectations, but I already feel that it's not really exceeded those expectations. I think the main thing, the absolute main thing, is that I feel like vulnerable when I skate in them. Mm. I feel like I'm so prone to getting an injury or like yeah. the top of the deck hitting my shoe yeah. is what scares me. I'm going to put my S Avance back on that I skate most of the time for chunky shoes. Quickly just do a couple of those tricks and see how they feel in comparison. But the difference of that on top is like mental. My, these S's feel lighter than these. These feel so heavy because of the soles. Yeah. These feel a little, or more like the weight's balanced across the whole shoe, I think. 
In these shoes, I have to kick harder in the asses to get the flick. That's one thing I noticed just now. Oh, I didn't expect that. Oh. Must be the asses with this. The asses. My so my final thoughts on that now are. So the van's so much board feel, I can feel the flicks, obviously because there's less padding on top. Doing the kickflip, I can feel kind of how much I'm flicking it. I'm so out of breath. And it feels like it's quite easy to flip. In the S's then when I switched over, I couldn't even get kickflips down the step properly, they weren't flipping. And I feel that's just because there's more padding, less board feel. But there was absolutely zero like slapping shock when I land on the floor. Like it didn't hurt to skate the stair set in these shoes, but in the vans, I really felt it like hitting the floor. So I think it just comes down to like, I prefer the padding and the protection of a chunkier shoe and the feel of it. Whereas with the Vans, I like the aspect of it feeling kind of like, there's not much there. You can really feel the board, you can feel every flick, you know? But the, the aspect of like not having protection um, and it hurting your feet when you slap, maybe because the sole isn't as thick or whatever, really puts me off. So I think obviously it comes down to if you can get past that, then the Vans are probably great, um, like slim shoes are. But if you're like me, then probably stick to chunkier shoes like the S's or whatever brand. I won't skate these Vans probably. I'll use them for like walking around, but like I probably won't skate them. Also, one more note. I was walking around in them yesterday for most of the day and I noticed that because they're so flat and the sole is like very thick and flat and quite hard, it's actually super uncomfortable just to wear them on a daily basis. These S's are so like cushiony and snug that when you're walking around, it just feels nice. But the Vans, I started feeling like uncomfortable and a bit of pain walking around. So that's another thing that I would say uh, if you were ever considering getting Vans and you've never skated them. It just comes down to again, I think what you have skated before, what you've worn before and if you like the type of shoe it is. Probably also comes down to like the shape of your foot and things like that, I don't know. But for me, I'm not gonna skate Vans. Honestly, not a big fan of them. Um, and I never have been a fan of the shoes. Maybe they'll bring something out in the future that I like, but for now, don't really like Vans. And I'll stick to my S's and chunky shoes. Anyway, so that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. That's it, and then the music will do, do, do. do Then this is, where the, this is where the music comes on, and then you have to click that video up there, and that video up there yeah. to go to the, next video the this, previous one this video is the better video though this this video is the best video on yeah. my channel please click it and yeah. give me a thumbs up and then uh, uh